Summarizing data is a key step for any analytics professional. One of the key process used in summarizing data is to group the data based on one column and calculate summary statistics like minimum, maximum, average value for another column. Let's do it. In the last video, I explained how to extract different components like day, month, year from day time column. I will use the same data this time. I will group the data on year column and calculate minimum, maximum, average and total consumption for each year. Let's do it. First, I will write the name of the data frame followed by group by function. In the bracket, I will give the name of the column on which I want to group. Now I will write .ag to aggregate data. This function takes dictionary object as an argument. First I have to put the name of the column on which I have to calculate the summary statistics. So in this case it is value kilowatt hour. Now the second argument is a list of statistics or operations which you want to perform on this column. So I would like to calculate count of records, minimum value, maximum value, average consumption for which I have to write mean and total consumption for which I have to write sum. And now I will execute this command. So here you can see we will get the count of records for each year and we also get minimum, maximum, mean and total consumption for each year. This is how we aggregate data in Python using group by function. In this example you saw I have used the column year to aggregate the data. If you want to aggregate data based on two columns, we can do that using a list of columns. Let's do it df.groupby Now I want to aggregate based on year and month name and rest all options will be same. So I will copy from the previous cell and paste it and execute. So you see we got the aggregate value for each month for a particular year. Now here you see the month name is alphabetically sorted which we don't want. We can also add a column month here. So if we put, we'll copy the command from the previous cell and here we'll put month and execute. So here you see now the order is correct. So we have year, month, month name and the aggregate value for each of these groups. And the value which we took are count of records, the minimum consumption, maximum consumption, mean consumption which is just average and total consumption for that group. I hope you liked the video. If you have any query, you can write in comments. I will try to answer. Thank you.